Hey everyone, it's Nick from Nick's Crossing. Welcome to Sightsland, Pennsylvania. Uh, last time I was here, it was much colder. Today I'm actually wearing flip-flops and shorts. But yeah, they redid the uh, little platform behind me. It looks really nice. We're gonna get some views of uh, 6076 coming through here, which is a Pennsylvania GP9, which you guys have seen on the channel before. But it's a beautiful spring day. It's gonna be in the uh, low 90s today, which is pretty crazy. You know, one of the hottest days of the year thus far. All right, guys, so here is the uh, Sightsland Depot here you guys have seen on the channel before. And uh, this way is towards Glen Rock. That way is towards New Freedom. Sounds like a donkey. All kinds of farm noises today. <laughs> but here is the Sightsland Pavilion. Looks like a, looks like a whistle stop style uh, station. And they redid it. Look at this beautiful pad underneath and everything nice place to stand in the shade and film trains like i'm gonna to do today you guys might hear on the radio it says like good for 10 good for 20. Uh, i believe that's yards for how you know how clear the tracks are if there's any obstructions or anything like that now this rail trail that runs parallel to the track does become very busy on weekends so. all right guys here comes our beautiful locomotive should be pulling about i think four cars today but yeah it's a beautiful day to ride a bike it's just a little hot but most of the trail is enclosed and trees and things like that but going this way uh pointing south you're actually going uphill towards new freedom and then behind me is actually downhill so this locomotive is going to be pretty much coasting downhill it's pretty crazy All right. She goes number 6076 ex Pennsylvania GP9 actually I believe built in 1959 so there she goes and she's going to stop about a half mile down the tracks into Glenrock Pennsylvania and then go the opposite way towards New Freedom <laughs> That's awesome. All right, everyone. So that was really cool uh, seeing that rail speeder following 6076 and her four cars now, not three, it's four cars uh, up the hill, but down the tracks. So totally surprised me. I did hear two separate horns uh, and towards the Glen Rock area. So maybe they're doing the speeder run just for fun. You know, there's a lot of speeder clubs in Pennsylvania and I'd love to ride on a rail speeder. Be a lot of fun. But we're on our way to a second location today, and that's going to be Hanover Junction, Pennsylvania, which is approximately, I'd say, four or five miles north in that direction. We're going to follow Pennsylvania 616, and there's a museum there and a couple other cool things I'd love to check out and film for you guys. They're also running the locomotive up that way, too. So we'll catch 6076 up there, and she'll pull into the station, and I believe they let the people off to see the... Uh, the museum and things like that around there's a lot to do in that little area but i'm hoping the parking lot is not crowded with uh bikers and hikers and things like that so here we go all right everyone so i made it to hanover junction pennsylvania 
man, I love this location. It's such a gorgeous day, beautiful location. A uh, little bit of land here. You can throw a ball around if you really wanted to. You can enjoy some of the artwork that's here and the botanical garden, which we'll check out in just a few moments here. So to my right is the active NCR Railroad, former Pennsylvania Railroad, former, you know, PC, Penn Central, Conrail, uh, rail line that would go all the way from Baltimore to York and then there on uh, wherever it needed to go from there. So yeah, I'm going to spin you guys around. We're going to take a look at the beautiful Hanover Junction and the actual junction is to my right. So here we go. So the York Heritage Rail Trail is actually to my left. You guys can see that it's this uh, basically stone dust pathway and the tracks are to my right. And on the ground here we have the switch throw of Hanover Junction, which is set to go right, because if you went left, there is nothing really there. There's a small uh, spur you could park the engine on, which I've seen before in past videos, but that's about it. We'll get to that in a few minutes here. But this is the Hanover Junction, and it's called that because if you went left, if this switch was thrown left back in the day, this would take you to Hanover, Pennsylvania. And this is a very important location because back in the day, uh, I believe President Lincoln's funeral train would have been on this railroad at the Hanover Junction. Lots of cool history here. I wish that museum was open because I believe they have some other items in there re related to the Gettysburg Address, also the Lincoln funeral train. Let's see, I'm trying to walk on the ties. Don't wanna walk in the gauge. And I believe uh, they said that they gave uh, President Lincoln pretty much a rehearsal here of the Gettysburg Address because this way to Hanover would have taken you towards the Gettysburg area. So very interesting. Uh, said I really wish that museum was open today, but unfortunately it is closed. And up in this park, a couple of other items I don't remember seeing before. I got some old cannons here. It's really cool. And on the back side there too, there's three more. Also have a horse sculpture we can check out. And also there's an old, very, very old house, brick house right there with all this land. Huh. Yeah, look at that, there's the old sights. <laughs> this is where your cap would go, blasting cap. Right down that hole. Really interesting. So we're going to explore this park a little bit. And then uh, in about an hour, we're going to get 6076 coming up the tracks. So that should be really cool to catch again. Now here is the end of this Hanover Junction right here. Uh, right now it's just a spur. It's no longer a completed junction to another location. We can see you have the uh, D-roll shoes there basically stoppers and those tracks would have gone right through this parking lot and then here would have been a turntable that they would have used way back when to spin the steam locomotives around and then here is the Hanover Junction station beautifully restored I believe it's part of the park system the uh, York Heritage Park they do have restrooms here the uh, women's restroom is on the other side behind a uh, fence structure but here's this one side of the station. And I've heard many people say, man, it doesn't really look like a station, it looks more like a hotel. And the reason why that is, is because back in the day when this would be a horse and cart style railroad, they would allow the passengers to get off of the cart, spend the night, get a bite to eat, refresh themselves as they were changing out horses. Uh, the worst case would be if your horse couldn't be changed, it had to be the same horse, they would have to wait overnight to recoup the horses, which is interesting, you know, very, very interesting. And actually at the BNO Railroad, they have a horse and cart there to show you what it looked like back in the day. So there you go, this looks like an old ticket window right in front of us. I like that uh, gingerbread style on that, it's really nice. It's uh, all wood structure building, even wood siding, uh, wood roof. <laughs> Pretty cool. 
But they did add this uh, Trex decking for the platform here. It looks really nice. Here's the uh, side, track side. And yeah, unfortunately, museum is closed for season, but it looks like they can slide different uh, billboards in here or hang like an open sign from the eye hooks there. Got the old uh, running style glass. I don't know if you guys caught that while walking by. And here's a couple of really cool things. So I love this old railing. This is, uh, I've typically seen this on Pennsylvania Railroad locations. So that might actually be original to this location. Uh, you have two picnic areas there. You can also probably picnic off the side there with a blanket, something like that. And we have a map. Let's go check that out. All right, so we're only showing the Pennsylvania side. So let's start down here. So here's something really interesting. Here is the New Freedom, it says parking lot. And this whole area here is where the railroad uh, headquarters are right now for the Northern Central Railroad. And you can see the line goes all the way up. Here's the Glenrock area. And here's Glenrock. There's a parking pad in Glenrock. I've used that before. You go up here. So here we are, right here, Hanover Junction. Then you go up here. Um, I haven't been up this way before. So that, actually, I have been up here before because here is another point of interest I've filmed on this channel before as well, the Howard Tunnel. And that is the extent that I've been from here going all the way down. So the crazy thing is, from here and going all the way up, this is north. This is all mostly downhill until you hit about right here. Then it goes uphill a little bit. But if you ever bike this, um, it is one heck of a ride, you know. Uh, just try going a couple miles at first because it is uh, not for the novice, but it is a beautiful park. And I believe this is when the hill starts to pick back up. All right, so here's some other points of interest with this location. And there's actually a couple of uh, carpenter bees that just tried to storm me, but it's all right. So we are here right now, and here's the turntable. And then here are all these other lines that would have been in. These are all rail lines in here. And you can see that uh, running a switch made the point C, cut off, train, moved in the turntable. So it's basically showing you how they would turn these locomotives around. And then here's the original station. Look at that. I mean, that has definitely come a long way. That uh, <laughs> looks really rough. All right, guys, so you don't always have to bike on this path. You can always walk like I'm doing today. So just watch out for bikes, or actually they should be watching out for you, technically. But it's a beautiful path just to walk, burn some time, get some exercise, and see some beautiful scenery. So I want to check out this bridge to my right. And uh, I'm going to check it out on the other side of the bridge so I don't get run over by a bike. That would not be fun. So the tracks are on my left, as you guys can see there. And we're walking across the bridge. Beautiful day, a little hot, but beautiful day. All right. So there's a beautiful, looks like a repaired concrete bridge going across. It would have been stone way back in the day. A um, lot of interesting structures on this rail trail for this used to be all Pennsylvania Railroad back in the day. And the Howard Tunnel will definitely get up there soon, but I want to bring one of my other friends around. And for the Howard Tunnel, you pretty much have to park outside of Seven Valleys and either walk or bike there. It is a very strenuous bike ride. <laughs> but yeah, you can definitely get there. It's a beautiful tunnel. And I think it's one of the oldest tunnels with an operating railroad in the country. I think it's like the second or third oldest operating railroad tunnel. So while I wait for the train to arrive, we have the Butterfly Garden, originally named the Botanical Garden. This is really nice. Take a walk through here. I wanted to see this uh, last year, but I came too late. Everything was dead or dying and wasn't really kept up. But this is a beautiful little garden here. They have uh, plant signs. I'll tell you what they are. It's uh, New Jersey tea. 
some other plants in here. We have a cluster mountain mint. Oh, I can definitely smell that. Take a little pinch there. Yeah, <laughs> that is mint. Uh, evening primrose. What else do we have in here? We have upland ironweed. I guess that's this plant right here. And then we have a pipe vine. Growing up a pipe makes perfect sense. A white snake root. <laughs> I'm avoid that at all costs. <laughs> uh, great blue labelia. That's a really interesting name for a plant. And look, there's more of those colored stones starting in here. <laughs> and this looks like this looks like it used to be a pond in here. I would not be surprised if you know they took out the pond because they are a lot of work. I actually have a pond myself. All kinds of signage in here. And there's a bench if you like to sit out in the sun. And uh, here's the guide. I remember reading this the first time? I didn't... Oh, it's got trash bags in there. So they probably do that if you wanted to come in and do some clippings and things like that. Clipping work, you can throw away your uh, clippings. But yeah, just a beautiful garden to walk through. Take some time. And here is a bust of Honest Abe Lincoln. Right here. He's cooking out in the sun. everyone so 6076 is here at Hanover Junction and the good thing is the museum is now open because of the train ride so we're gonna go check that out and the train will be departing around 2 30 according to the conductor so yeah I'm happy to be here let's go check out this museum <laughs>
All right, everyone, so that's going to conclude this railroad adventure for today. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed the footage of the action cam in the gauge. It's my first time doing that. The engineer said, you know, try it, see what happens. So I took the risk, it worked. So <laughs> can't wait to check out that footage later. But hopefully you all had a great time coming along with me on the NCR Railroad here in York County, Pennsylvania. I'll put a link in the description for the rail trail to my left and also the NCR Railroad. They have tons of really cool events planned for the summer and also they're bringing out number 17, hopefully in July which is their Civil War Recreation Steam Engine, and they call it an American style. It's a, I believe it's a 240 wheel arrangement. So definitely look out for that video or come down here and see it on your own. But this is definitely a class act railroad. I love this railroad so much and the staff is amazing. Unfortunately, I did not get to check out the museum because I was busy uh, talking with the railroad staff and engineers about the railroad and other railroads around. But anyways, everyone, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss railroad adventures just like this. Also, I love hearing your guys' comments. Give the video a like as well. It's the easiest thing to do, and it really helps out the channel. So anyways, everyone, until next time, happy railroad. Have a good day. <laughs>